guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at max difference you can get from changing an integer problem which is from lead code number 1432 let's now look at the problem statement you are given an integer num you will apply the following steps to num two separate times pick a digit x in the range of 0 to 9 pick another digit y in the range of 0 to 9 y can be equals to x or they can be different as well Replace all the occurrences of x in the decimal representation of num by y. Let a and b be the two results from applying the operation to num independently. And we need to return the maximum difference between the numbers that you generate a and b. Note that neither a nor b may have any leading zeros and must not be zero. So if you don't have any leading zero, then that means the number of digits will exactly be the same. Okay. Now, according to the problem statement, you are trying to uh, maximize the difference between the two generated numbers. So if you look at the first example, here you have 555. Five, five. Now, if you want to maximize the difference between the two numbers that you generate by replacing a picked digit, then I will pick 5 and replace it by 9 to make it 999 nine, 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 because all the 9s will be my maximum number. And I can, I, I can take this 5 and replace it by 0, but I cannot do that since... Uh, the leading zeros are not allowed therefore i will take the next higher number one and i will replace by the minimum number possible one 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 and if i subtract then i will get triple it and that is how you got triple it if you look at the second example here you have num as nine so if you have nine then i will not replace it by anything like i can replace this by nine itself and so my a number will be nine and I will replace it by 1. So my B number will be 1. So 9 minus uh, 1 is going to be 8, which is max minus minimum. So this is a typical greedy problem where you have to uh, convert a given number to the max and min number and take the difference and just return it. In this case, the num value is maximum 10 to the power of 8 and minimum 1. That means minimum you will have one digit and maximum you will have nine digits. In 10 to the power 8, there are nine digits, right? So we will be looking at two approaches to solve this problem. The first approach is by trying all possibilities. So let's say that the given number is S and these are the given positions. Okay. And the max difference will be produced when you produce the max number out of it and also the min number and you take the difference between the max and min. This will give you the maximum difference that you can generate. So what we can do is since I know I just have 10 digits from 0 to 9 I can try converting all the digits one by one so what I will do is I will try to convert all the zeros to let's say 9 to generate the maximum number okay all the all the zeros can be converted to 9 and you see can you generate the max number in this way so the max number can be assigned to be 0 initially and if you convert uh, all the 0 digits to 9 the number generated will be 92932 so the max number will be updated to 92932 then what we will do is we will convert all the ones to 9 and then try to see so there is no one right then we will try to convert all the twos to nines and then you will see uh, that if you convert all the twos to 9 it will be 99039 so this 99039 is larger so you will be replacing it right so you will be trying out all the digits one by one from 0 to 8 and try to convert all these digits to 9 and see that whatever is the maximum number that will be stored in the max variable okay max variable similarly we will be trying for all the digits to produce the minimum number and how you can generate it you can say that whatever is the digit i will be converting everything to zero so let's say i will be converting all the one digits to zero then there is no one digit i will be converting all the two digits to zero yes there are two digits so i can say that if you do this then you have nine zero zero three zero okay so you can define a min number equals to infinity and whenever you see a smaller number you can just replace it nine double zero three zero then uh, you can try converting all the threes to zero okay so there is a three and then the number produced will be nine two zero zero two now this 92002 is larger than 90030 so no update will happen then you can try or converting all the fours to zeros fives to zeros and so on nines to zero now this nine cannot be converted to zero because it is in the first position the first position digit cannot be made zero right but then the first position digit can be tried to made to one 
okay so we can convert this 9 to 1 instead and try to see what number we get so we get 1 2 0 3 2 which is smaller so 1 2 0 3 2 will be the smallest number which you get largest number you got was 9 9 0 3 9 you subtract 1 2 0 3 2 and you will get the max difference as an answer so in this particular approach what happened was we were iterating for 10 digits and we were iterating over the entire length of the uh, string you can say right if you convert it to string then entire length of string which is maximum 9 it was already shown in the constraint it is maximum 9 digits right so we are trying 10 digits over 9 digits and this is done two times one first time to generate max number and another time to generate min number so that is going to be 180 operations approximately which is definitely going to run within one second right so this technique will pass and this is the simplest possible approach now if you have noticed something uh, then any given number can be converted to max number with the same digits if you have all the nines and this is a valid number according to the problem statement and any given number with the with the given number of digits can be converted to min number by converting all of them to zeros and they become all leading zeros so this is not allowed by the problem okay the problem says that there should be no leading zero that means at the most significant digit position you cannot have a zero you have to have one on the right hand side you can always have zero or any other digit so with a given number of digits if you want the minimum number the most significant side should be one and then it should be all zeros right so this should be kept in mind for this problem now once you know about it then uh, we can we can see that uh, if we have a given number in the form of string a b c d we have four digits right so if you move from left to right the weightage will decrease and the highest weightage will be for the most significant digit a which is 10 to the power of 3 because it is base 10 number system for b it is 10 to the power 2 and so on so if you have to convert this to the maximum possible number i will always greedily try to convert the most significant digit to 9 okay if this a if this a is less than 9 then it is always optimal that i make a to 9 and all the occurrences of a must be set to 9 right so what i will do is i will iterate from left to right and i will check the first digit which is less than 9 because maybe a was equals to 9 who knows if a was equals to 9 i will check the second best option which is b because it is having the second best weightage so if b is less than 9 then convert all the occurrences of b to 9 that will always give me the maximum possible number that we can generate from the given number s okay so let me show you some examples in this case if s is 32032 the first digit that we find from left to right is 3 so i can convert it to 9 and all the occurrences of 3 will become 9 so this will be 2092 and this will always be the maximum number if you check the second st uh, string or the number then you can move from left to right the first digit is already 9 so don't do anything second digit is 2 so convert it to 9 and convert all the occurrences of 2 to 9 and this will be the max number right so this is how you generate max number once you got max number i need to get the min number and similarly based on the previous logic if the given uh, number is in the form of string a b c d then you can say that moving from left to right you have highest weightage in the leftmost digit that means the most significant digit so if you if i convert it to the least possible number let's say one then it will give me the highest decrement possible it will give me the minimum number okay that will always be true but there is another scenario where a is already one so i cannot decrease it beyond uh, one because zero is not possible zero is not a valid number to get in the most significant side otherwise it will have a leading zero right which is not allowed so if a is greater than 1 in this case the most significant digit then convert all the occurrences of a to 1 and you will always get the minimum number possible like let's take the first example in this case the first digit is greater than 1 so convert all the occurrences of 3 to 1 and then you will get the minimum number possible this is true but if the first occurrence is 1 then we will be traversing from left to right and on the right hand side now whatever digits are present i can always convert any of them to zero not one okay because there is no chance of getting a leading zero so now we will be finding the first digit s at i when i iterate from index one to the last index n minus one where if the value 
is happening to be greater than 1 then we will convert all of them to 0 we will convert all of them to 0 okay so if you take a look at the second example this first digit being 1 i will be iterating from 1 to 4 and the first digit that i get greater than 1 i will convert it to 0 and all its occurrences to 0 and rest of the digits will be unchanged okay but why did i say asset i greater than 1 and not asset i greater than 0 well that will be wrong because you already know that if i'm iterating from index 1 to the last index this means that the 0th index is already having 1 so if you check for 1 in uh, in the rest of the digits then you are technically converting the most significant digit also to 0 which is not allowed okay so if you look at this second example in this case the most significant digit is 1 so i'll be iterating from 1 to 4 and checking if asset i is actually greater than 1 if you checked with greater than 0 then this 1 will get converted to 0 and the entire number will become 0 right which is not allowed by the problem statement leading zeros are not allowed so i'll check with greater than 1 so there will be no change at all and the same number will be the smallest number right so i hope you have understood how to find the maximum number and the minimum number in this problem we are iterating for digit number of times and therefore uh, for both finding the max number or min number uh, the time complexity is going to be log of n base 10 so here it will be log of n base 10 because it is a base 10 number system and if you think about space complexity we will be taking extra variables uh, which will be storing a copy of the input and that will also anchor log n space complexity i hope it is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the number and we are taking extra space s max s and min s which is uh, copying the entire number in the form of string and i am finding the number of digits in n then i am trying to maximize the number just iterate from left to right and find the first digit where the digit is not equals to 9 that means less than 9 and make all the occurrences of that digit equals to 9 moving from left to right and finding the first digit less than 9 make sure that you are converting the most significant digit to 9 which will always guarantee that you maximize the given number so we are also providing a break statement so you cannot multiply this loop with the inner loop it is not a multiplication factor it is just an addition factor in complexity okay now we need to get the minimum number you know that in minimum number if the first digit is greater than one then that is the digit that i will make it as one and convert all the occurrences of that digit to one okay in the entire string otherwise if the first digit is already one then I trade from the second digit till the last digit and find out if asset i is greater than 1 then convert all its occurrences to 0 okay because there is no chance of having a leading 0 right now so we will be breaking after converting the minimum number okay so after doing that we will be taking the string to integer function and uh, taking the difference between max number and min number this will give you the maximum difference I hope this entire technique is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you